Hello, my name is Otexon, USCIH, in charge of Polygard agent in APEC area. So recently we had some change in the Polygard 793 product. So the Polyteed filter product, very nice one. So today I would like to talk about with the upgraded version how we can do the fit check because the fit check feature has been changed. Okay, let's talk about it more. So here uh, we have the Polygard 793 product. So on the left side is the upgraded version, on the right side is the uh, previous version. So you can see almost same except the label. And one more thing is uh, on the back side you can see here um, the expiry date is inscribed with the laser printing. But the previous version the expiry date is written uh, here. So you can see it was manufactured in 2015, December, and three years after the manufacture. So that means every the manufacturing information is on the label. But this one has that information on it. So you can see it was manufactured in the 2020 March. It will be expired three, five years later. So the extended service life. And we also had the C version, the carbon version. So on the right side, you can see 793 carbon. Here, the same 793 carbon. So the label has been changed. And as you know, the same. Here is the manufacturing information and the, the service line. On the back side, there was nothing. But the new version has uh, the manufacturing information here. Much easier to identify when it's the expiry date. So same, the five years. So upgraded version. But there has been some changes in the product feature. So it, it is not easy to recognize what has been changed. But when you strip down, so I don't recommend any, any of the users strip down the product. This is only for the, the product specialist. Anyway, so when you open the product, if possible, I never recommend anyway. So here is the liner, a sponge liner and no sponge liner. So what is the main function of the sponge liner? So when this, the lower part and upper part assemble together, then the air will go into the filter body through this hole, so these parameters. And when the, the air get to here, then bounce back, and then it goes into the filter. So it's like a, the sponge liner is inside so it's making very small gap between the lower and upper body. And through, through the small gap, the air goes into the filter and that's how the filter is working. Okay? It's the fear, filter air uh, the passage, the air passage. But the enhanced version, the upgrade version, there's no liner. So why there's no liner? Because when you assemble, the gap, the parameter gap is bigger because there's no liner. So the gap here would be smaller if there's liner. Without liner, the larger gap. So when you breathe out with, with your mouth placed here and breathe out here, then you can feel this one is much easier to breathe than this one. So why we had liner? Because we need the fit check feature. So to have the negative fit check, we need to squeeze it, this one. This one we cannot because there's no liner. But we found without the liner, the fit check is also available. So now I would like to show you how to do the fit check. Okay, uh, here is the enhanced version and this is the previous version. So as I said, when I breathe out, and with this one, you can feel this one is much easier without liner. But without liner, we cannot do the negative feature. So ne what is the negative feature? So when you put the respirator like this, negative feature is squeeze the filter and then breathe in. But the negative feature is not perfect because there's no liner. So without liner, how we can do the negative feature? It's very simple, just uh, remove the filters 
put the respirator like this, and then with your thumb, breathe in. Negative pitch I finished, and then positive pitch. Okay, here I can fill some gaps. Now I'm finished. So with this simple process, I can ensure the strap length is fully adjusted to my face. So and then I assemble the filters. So it's a bayonet connection. Align the mark and twist it. So after that, so whenever I use the respirator, what I need to do is just to do the party feature. Oh, good. So we usually say the negative fit check is much easier to pass than the positive fit check. So positive fit check is tougher, tougher method to ensure the secure fit on your face. So what I recommend you is whenever you buy the new respirator, adjust the strap with the negative fit check and positive fit check without filters. And with the filters, what you need to do is uh, the each shift daily to the positive.